the, the Mesopotamia marshland in the south of Iraq is, uh, I would say, it is a global heritage. It's not belong to the Iraqi people, not belong to the Arab or Muslim. It is humanity. Uh, the, the civilization started there, and the father of Prophet born there, and huge history. It's extended to six, seven thousand years ago. So I think it's a time now for the a global effort and people of goodwill uh, to come and help restore that um, heritage. The, the, this uh, Garden of Eden, uh, fertile crescent, used to be a very sustainable uh, agriculture area where these practices inherited through generation. Uh, but unfortunately, these people suffer a lot under previous regime. Not because of their fault, they are not people of politicians, people doing their life on day to day, but unfortunately their, their, their garden of Eden, their, their, their places provide some safe havens for the people who uh, oppose the previous regime and seek refuge in that area. And the previous regime um, did a very devilish engineering work in 1991 after the Second Gulf War, where prevent that area from the main supply of water from Tigris and Euphrates and actually drain almost 92.5% of that land which is equivalent to double size of the Everglades in, in Florida. And not only that, it's about half a million people being dislocated uh, and being uh, sent as a escape their, their life to, to, to Iran-Iraq border which I have the privilege to visit them three times with some humanitarian aids. Now, the, 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 the area has been, uh, hopefully, and a global effort organized through the United Nations to bring all these technical expertise to, to restore that area. Uh, and the positive sign that the people who come back from the refugee camps start to take the initiative their own and try to dig some hole in the uh, dam south of Nasiriyah and the water comes since last year and now the recent uh, report from the United Nations satellite images that 20% of that area has been restored. As a personal pledge from a person who lived there and uh, do some research in that area is really to try to gather momentum from all sort of the people, especially the United States, who did a great job to liberate that country from the dictatorship but equally important is to restore the marsh area, to restore the higher education, and any help that could stay longer than the military prisons. Because as we know, military will go, and the only thing left there is really what the tangible fruit that the people could utilize. And if it's Mesopotamia returned, if higher education returned, that will have huge impact on the people and improve the relation uh, Hugely. Since last year, uh, we initiate a group in, in, in Britain, we call it Iraqi Reconstruction Group, and the idea is to promote and uh, try to rehabilitate the higher education in, 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 in Iraqi universities. And when I went last year to evaluate, among other people, the higher education and the standard of education in Basra universities, in particular myself, I found the uh, standard is, is, is really incomprehensible. I mean, incomprehensible. You can't comprehend the damage that happened to the Basra University and technical institutes. If I may just concentrate on one aspect, which is the need and desperate need of these universities to uh, a lot of things, really. And we will talk with the university chancellor what you need and prioritize your need. Uh, he said we need everything. And so the need for the universities and education is great. But as I said, among one particular aspect which I want to concentrate for this purpose is the requirement for the computer. Basra universities have 23,000 students and they have got a computer department or a computer, uh, yeah, a computer department within the College of Science and they have got a computer department within College of Engineering and when the Dean of the College of Engineering visited Britain among the exchange programs, 
he mentioned a very uh, staggering statistic where he have got, for example, 600 computer engineer students. They have got only six computers. And before I leave to this country, we have the Technical Institute Dean in Basra. He have got 4,800 students, and they have only seven PCs. My request really is try to seek an assistant uh, for Basra University and other technical institutes in the South, which, which suffer a lot under previous regime, to try to build the uh, uh, sort of infrastructure in terms of uh, hardware and software were, were, were could be donated to, 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 to that uh, institute. I mean, th these sort of activities, these sort of initiatives, if we could manage to seek that um, assistant uh, from American people toward the Iraqi universities, uh, Iraq education system in general, this will really have a huge impact on the improving the relationship. And I have to mention that there is sort of climate of suspicion, but these sort of things and these sort of activities really will, 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 will have huge Im impact on the improving the, the, the last long relation with the Iraqi people, uh, and that would be hugely appreciated and acknowledged. Thank you very much.